otra vez este it's early in the morning guys son las 8 de la mañana uh, my boy Eddie called me yesterday he told me to pull up to the shop today at 9.30 so I woke up excited because the Broncos finally going to be a one what the fuck is that uh, so right now what I'm about to do before I head there I'm going to take off the wheels from the flare side so here's the Bronco este We're gonna put these stocks on the flare side since I'm, I'm not moving the flare side at the moment. And we're gonna take the 17 by 11, just test fit them, see how they look on the Bronco. And the flare side's over here. Um, some tires are flat, as you can tell that one's flat. So I have to take it off, air it up, and test fit it on the Bronco. So once it's finished lowered, we can see how it looks. But right now all these fucking cars are in the way. Y ahorita, I'll move them. And we'll test fit them, see how it looks, especially after it's lowered completely. Hopefully it looks good. So I just take the cap off. I tiny and build specialties. Uh they need a good ass polish. Maybe ya cuando tela bronco completely done. We'll we'll um, polish it. Well it depends. I'm just test fitting them right now on the bronco como se ve. So the front wheels are on, ya están puestos. It looks a little funny porque no estamos completos. I think once the rear Once the rear drops a little bit more down, I think it should level out pretty good. I mean, it should look like the flesh at least. But I like it on them. So check it out, guys. There it is. It looks a little funny for the fact that the ass needs to go down big time. The front looks like it might need a little more lower, but I think yeah, once I lower the back, it should even out pretty good. You can tell the big ass gap right there. But like I said, right now we're on the way to my boy Campo shop so you can finish the rear end and hopefully it'll look better. The flare side looks a little funny, guys. Se mira chistosita la way. This is just something for right now. I'm just test fitting how the 17 by 11 looks on it. Uh, who knows? If I like how the 17 by 11 on, on the Bronco, I might order some new wheels for the flare side, something different. I kind of want to go big wheels with big billets, but I am not sure. Let me know what you think. Sure, I'll go big. I was thinking some 24 by 15s and 24 by 9s in the front, pero todavía no sé. Se me, da, me da lo dolor. Cortar el diferencial, cortar toda la caja y todo ese pedo, pero, I mean, it look badass. What you think, guys? Pero right now, let's go to Campo Shop, because he is waiting for me. A ver qué le hacemos a la Bronco. Let's go. All right, my guys, so we made it. Aquí andamos. My boy, Eddie. Check it out, check it out. Campo Shop. Hey, look at that. 79, eh? Logo. Puras little OBS. Look, like, he has his OBS. I'm pretty sure he's going to probably LS swap or fix the LS swap that somebody else fucked up. And then check out this ram, guys. Yo como tan morro que una ram igualita que esta. Igualitita. Obviously, probably not 4x4. Probably two-wheel drive, lower it and shit. But, I mean, 4x4 looks nice, too. The sport one. Sport edition. This is the first truck I learned how to drive when I was, like, 12 years old. My dad had one, but the extended cam. And ever since then, I've been having a thing for them. Hopefully, one day, I can get me one and put some 17 by 11s while, like, the player side. Uh, but, yeah, check it out. Let's check inside what he has. Check it out. Here he has his C10 right here. In the process. Yes, sir. And there you got the Bronco up there. And check out this C10. Because of baby billets. Lo L swap and then la mera mera. If you remember this trick, we took it to Houston to get the turbo kit. This trick is done. I mean, About 80% done. It, it moves now by itself on its own it's power and shit. Quedó perra. So if you remember, this is the one that we took to Houston for the turbo kit. If you haven't seen the video, look look at it. Uh, we took this truck to get the the turbo or pipes welded on and all that. But yeah, bitch came out badass. Ahí están, ahí están los proyectos de los compa. El compa Campos. And they got my Bronco right there. Check it out. I think it should be done in about an hour or so. 
Ahí la llevan. Yes, sir. Ahora sí, un número chulo. Ahí está. Ahí quedó la wey. Check it out, check it out. Ahora sí ya quedó al 100. We put the caps on me. Damn, man. That piece looks fucking badass. La neta, ya have no idea how happy I am. This is exactly how I pictured it. Whenever I imagined it lower. Damn, man. Sin, sin furinga, ya se la sabe. Algo diferente. Algo diferente. We're about to go grab something to eat because we're hungry. It's middle of the day. And I'll probably snap a little some pictures. It's probably a better walk around video of the truck because it's kind of tight right here. But yes, sir. So I see me, chavos. We're out. Este. I'm about to head home. Um, I actually got to go to work for a little bit. I'm going to do a calecito de volada. And then I'll. I'm gonna. I gotta wash the truck. The Bronco needs to wash. The wheels need to wash. I can tell when I was taking them off. They're fucking dirty. They need to polish, but I'm gonna rinse last in Um But if I don't have time today, I guess tomorrow I will wash it so I can take some pictures and record it all around. But for today, we are done here with Campo Shop. Like I said, a ver si ahorita acabando el jale, la lavamos y le enseño ahí el. A little clip of how it looks with the 17 by 11 and mira perra, I'm actually in love, in love, in love with it. Quedó chingona, algo diferente, algo, algo que no vas a ver en la calle común. Um, algo bien, algo bien, tal bien la pinche troca. So, este, ahorita de aquí nomás voy a trabajar de volada and once I'm back, we'll show you the whole truck. Vámonos. One eternity. ¿Qué onda, qué onda, qué onda, mi gente? So, la troca, como vieron, ya quedó al 100. Ahorita, este, I've been busy. Um, it's been fucking hot. Pero ahorita vamos a ir a lavar la troca, guys. Este, vamos a ir aquí a un car wash, a lavar la de volada de mano. Y we're also going to go to a little event. The first show, the Bronco goes like this. Este, but that's going to be another vlog. A whole other vlog that I will post tomorrow. But today, este, I'm going to end the video with me washing the truck and show you all the, the full walk around of the truck. Este, and yeah, tomorrow I will post a vlog of the first show the Bronco goes to, which will be today. Este, pero yeah, guys, let me head to the car wash right now. Este, ahorita vamos para allá. Y a lavar la como se ve la buena lavadita porque no la he visto lavadita. I've been dealing in the past three days y se maneja chingona la pinche troca ni pa' qué. Una chulada, chulada, chulada. Este, pero ahorita, como les digo, lo voy a ir a lavar. Dar una buena lavadita a la troca y ahorita se la enseñamos a ver cómo queda lavada. So stay tuned in and let's go wash it. Vámonos. Sí, mi chavos, ahí quedó una lavadita más o menos. I didn't put tire shine and I didn't take off all the dirtiness, pero sí, sí estaba bien poliada antes, so it looks a lot better. I still need to do the bumper. Si se fijan ahí, la defensa está poquito caída para abajo. No sé si se dan cuenta ahí, está poquita caída para abajo. La neto que levantar, nomás que ocupo ayuda. And I haven't had time to ask somebody to help me, pero ahí está nomás. Iré. Two four drop, two inches in the front, four inches in the back. Big, 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 big shout out to my boy Campos Shop, my boy Eddie from Campos Shop. I couldn't figure out the rear end, the rear. Por eso cuando la vieron antes estaba sin pinadota. Es que estaba pegando allá con un, un mero. It was hitting with a metal. It wasn't letting the shackle go up. And it was, it was, it was having a stiff ass drive. He cut that up. He made it work. The truck drives smooth. Se maneja como una pinche nube. Bien pinche suavecita la wey, suavecita. I honestly think it drives better than the flare I'm not going to lie. Pero ahí está. Two inches from the back, four inches from the front. Like I said, big shout out to my boy from Campo Shop for doing the rear end on my Bronco. I couldn't figure it out. That shit was stressing me out. I was honestly giving up. I was honestly giving up because I would drive it. It drove like shit. It felt so nasty. It was hitting bad. I'm like, what the fuck? I took it to Eddie. And he figured out the problem. He got it fixed. And now it's lowered right. And it drives perfectly. And then también a big shout out to the guy that did my front end. It's um, es un familiar de nosotros. Es primo de mi papá. Este, he's the one that took the 4x4 off. He's the one that eliminated the 
rear, I mean the differential in the front and put the two wheel, two wheel drive suspension in front. If y'all remember, the two wheel suspension came from that parts truck that I had, that blue truck that I bought, it's the, it all came from there. There's the, the original front end again. If y'all remember, between that, the painted grill and I had the black smoked out uh, front headlights and the other new bumper. I like this bumper a lot better, guys. No matter falta acomodarlo bien, darle una pintada to color match it. I feel like color match looks good, but I don't know. I, I kind of like the chrome with the 17 by 11. So what do y'all think? Se mira bien, se mira bien, pero let's keep moving on. I put the new headlights, new front end, so I can tell. I still need to paint it, guys. La troca la tengo que pintar toda. The fender is cut. It was cut from whenever it was lifted. It was rubbing with the, when I had the 22, so it's cut. That's why it looks a little funny, so. Ya cuando la pinte le voy a poner otro fender and we're gonna fix that little cut right there, but other than that guys, I think se mira mamalona. Yo pienso, la neta si me gustó y no me arrepiento de lo que hice, quedó chingona. There's a little back around from the back. Neta, neta que si, sí, y puro team for inga, ya se la saben mis chavos. It looks nice guys, I honestly like it. It came out a lot better than I expected. I wasn't expecting this at all and it looks so, so good. Y como les digo, guys, el fucking drive is amazing. Se maneja como una pinche nube. Nunca me lo imaginé que se iba a manejar así la troca. Este, the truck, when it was lifted, it drove like shit. I'm not gonna lie, it drove like shit. And I thought I was gonna drive something like that, but no. It drives, it drives a lot, a lot better. It drives really smooth. And it's fucking fast. Uh, if y'all are just watching this video, this is the first video I watch. Um, if y'all don't know info about the Bronco, the Bronco has a 5.8. 5.8 de 351 351 with a 5 speed standard transmission so this truck has some fucking balls you know my side that la tranny minor transmission and like i said with the 5.8 the 351 pinche troca corre con madres and since i don't have the weight in the differential in the front no more it picks up real real good and since i don't have the big tire it picks up real good la troca corre con madres but i hope you enjoyed it guys look at it no más yo chingona la neta si sí me gustó un chingo but i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button comment and let me know what y'all think and right now we're about to head to a little show it's gonna be the first show i go with the broncos so stay tuned in we'll be posting the, the show this um probably next not tomorrow the next day but i hope y'all like this video guys i hope y'all enjoy the bronco like i'm enjoying it pero y'all make sure to hit the like button comment let me know what y'all think and make sure to subscribe let's go vamonos